Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica Likewise. I'm a BCBA and I'm passionate about helping you become a BCBA too. I absolutely love what I do. I am so grateful that I get to wake up every morning and work in the field that truly feeds my soul. And I don't want this big, terrible exam to be in your way of you being able to do the same, which is why I make videos every single day to help you study. So today we're going to talk about what a interdependent group contingency is. So stay tuned. Well, hey guys, and welcome back. First of all, Please, if you're watching this video, do me a favor, just like and subscribe to this channel because I make videos like this every single day. Today we're gonna to talk about what a interdependent group contingency is. Interdependent group contingency. And if you don't know what it is, I promise by the end of the video, you will. So an interdependent group activity is when an entire group of people needs to hit a certain achievement in order for a reward to, to, reward to happen. So I'm going to give you a couple examples about this. So let's just say a teacher says, okay, if everybody does their homework all week, if nobody in the entire class forgets to do their homework, if everyone in the class does their homework all week, at the end of the week, there's going to be a pizza party. Well, that is an interdependent group activity, right? The behavior of everyone in the group is interdependent of everyone else in the group. They all have to hit the same criteria in order for them to all get a reward. If one person in the group does not hit that criteria, there is no reward. That's an interdependent group activity. So let's look at this on a sales team. Let's say it's a sales team. It's okay if everybody on the sales team hits their quota for whatever their sales team is. Maybe they all have different quotas, but if everyone hits their quota, well, then the entire sales team gets a one day paid vacation day, right? That would be an interdependent group activity. Let's just say it is okay if everybody gets 90% uh, at least on a pop quiz, then no homework today. That would be an interdependent group activity. Now that's different than a dependent group activity which is where there's the HERA procedure. If you don't know what that is, watch this video and I, I break it down, where one person in the group it determines everybody's reward, or an independent group activity, where everyone on the group is on their own. There's a video right here if you wanna watch it to explain that. That's when everyone's on their own in, in terms of being able to get the room reward. So if you found this helpful, please just type yes in the chat. I would be super grateful. That's my reinforcement for making these videos. I don't actually get paid to make these videos. I just really get reinforced and love to help you study. Speaking of loving to help you study, I partnered with Dr. Catherine May of ABA Mindset. We put together an amazing course for you that goes over the fifth edition task list. If you are studying under the fifth edition task list, check out tasklist5.com, see what we have to offer. If you have any questions, maybe you're tripped up on something, maybe you saw a mock question that's confusing you, or you, there's just a concept you don't understand, I want to help. Simply chat in your question below. Just leave a comment on this video. I make these videos every day and I read these comments and I typically respond to every single one of them. Not only will I write a response for you, but I'll make a video for you. I'm always looking for topic suggestions. So your question helps me. So help me help you. Type your chat question in the chat below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Happy studying and can't wait to see that pass that you passed your BCA exam.